stop body shaming stop telling people oh my god you put on weight or you lost weight um or you're looking like you know you're looking fat why do you want to do that i mean just just be who you are and then somebody did point out saying oh you're the girl who did 1 2 3 4 with uh, shahrukh khan so i said yes what what is your problem i mean why do you want to stop you know calling people black or calling people white why do you want to do that just live and let live language is not a barrier for her she's an actor par excellence and she's a winner of many many film fair awards including the first ever film fair ott awards i'm chatting with priya mani in this episode of film fair ott showcase a prelude to the my glam film fair ott awards 2021 hi priya my question to you is uh, how did family man change your life uh <laughs> well i think in a way a uh, family man has definitely given me a wider audience um initially people probably just knew me as uh, you know uh, the sister from uh, ravan where i played abhishek's sister um or somebody was like oh you did rakta charitra also ram gopal varma's rakta charitra where i was paired opposite surya um and then somebody did point out saying oh you're the girl who did 1 2 3 4 with uh, shahrukh khan so i said yes but saying that uh, i would definitely say this that um, once family man came out season 1 came out um, a lot of people i mean unknowingly or unknowingly i think i must say i had uh, so many people just you know people just coming messaging me saying oh my god you know the way suchi is um Oh, family man, Suchi, family man, Suchi. What happened with Suchi and Arvind? Then uh, I think the whole series just, uh, you know, it just hit the people so much that they started identifying with each and every character. Be it Shrikant Tiwari, be it Suchi, be it Arvind, be it the kids, be it whoever, you know, and the whole plot as such. And I think um, Raj and DK as directors, I think they've done a fantastic job of. Uh, coming up with a series like family man where you know it's it's a life of a common man and you know people never expected it to be that like you know this uh, honestly i didn't know that it would do this well uh thank uh, i really have to thank my stars that you know i was part of um, a family man and they offered me family man mukesh chabra gave me a call i went to uh, see him in the office and that's how the casting happened and next day i happened to meet raj sir and dk sir and they explained the story to me uh the the character in fact they they, they just gave me an outline of how, what suchi is all about and, uh, and then i on the way back home i i actually told my husband i said do i have to like give an audition because this is a normal thing in bollywood where you have to probably you know you, I mean, you have to do auditions they said no i don't think you have to do because if they've explained you the character for like about 45 minutes to 1 hour which they did i said i don't think you have to do any audition i think you're directly in i think i was in like that and then people started liking the they love the whole series and once the series uh, season 1 was done everybody was like when is season 2 coming out when is season 2 coming out and uh, the universal question even till today is uh, lonavla mein kya hua tha and uh, what and after season 2 um, i think suchi is the most one of the most hated characters in the web series which and in a way i will i will take that as a compliment because i think i've done something right i think they've written the character so well in season 2 and uh, they still are lingering so there are now there are two questions after season 2 one is lonavla mein kya hua tha and uh, second is what 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 did suchi want to tell shrikant in the end so i think this is just getting people uh, more curious to see season 3 and everybody the another question what everybody is asking is when is season 3 coming out so i think i have to really thank my stars that i'm a part of uh, such a wonderful series like family man and it is and as i just said i think i've just got a wider audience from all over and a lot of people have been seeing it and loving it and they're rewatching it and um, yeah so you know pros and cons are part of uh, we who we are in the industry so that's okay what advice would you give suchi if you met her i would just say live your life yeah i mean you're 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 fine as you are i mean i think you're you're standing up for what you what you believe is right i mean because all she wants is somebody to listen to her somebody who um which is what we want because she is a typical you know woman as and you give um uh, Uh, anything to a woman they just basically saying that women are multitaskers they can do anything uh, they can run a household by themselves they can work also equally and you know look after both family life and professional life uh, together properly and all she wants is somebody to listen to her what she is going through somebody to talk to um, and unfortunately given the line that shrikant is in 
uh, he's not able to uh, give her the time that she wants to um but even then she's managing she's trying to manage but yes there is a small drift um happening uh, so she tries to bridge the gap by going to um uh, a counselor and things like that so i would just say take every day as it comes and you know i'm here for you don't worry i'll be your shoulder to cry on and how would you deal if you had smart ass kids like that in real life <laughs> no i would love veda i mean um uh, athar Uh, Vedant who played Athar. Athar is a cute boy. He's a typical, um, you know, cutie pie who's a mama's boy uh, who likes to uh, be on the, you know, the nice side of the parents. Driti, you know, she is a, a little, uh, you know, the typical tantrums of a teenager which happens. Um, so yeah, I said somewhere I would probably say okay to a to an extent, but uh, if push comes to shove, that's all. you recently spoke about body shaming and you know a certain sort of color racism and yeah. it is very interesting uh, i mean i read it somewhere uh, also uh, another very interesting point you mentioned in the patriarchal setup is how there's no shelf life after marriage for you mm. earlier heroines were considered mm. designed to the shelves once mm. after marriage so mm. you broke a lot of these stereotypes get mm. talk about it of course i mean i there's nothing wrong in talking about it uh one thing i'll say is yes i mean i don't know why people want to body shame uh see we are in an industry where anything and everything you do is under the limelight so i will definitely i'm not talking about me per se but uh yes i mean off late i have been receiving a lot of messages where uh, you know i was pretty on the healthier side earlier and then from december onwards you know i started losing weight and a lot of people have said oh you know what you lost so much of weight you're looking good so in a way it's nice to receive such compliments in a way i would say that you know a lot of people are saying that um, not you know when you were on the health not only me i'm saying the other girls or men and all um you know when they you put on weight people say you put on weight knowingly or no unknowingly when we also talk to each other as in when you're talking to your friends or you're talking to your family you see a picture you see somebody on television you see somebody on um you know on social media or something you say oh my god this girl has put on weight or this girl has lost weight or this oh my god what happened to him so that unknowingly comes about so i'm just saying it's it's not wrong if you're putting on weight or you're losing weight it's not wrong uh but i would just say that stop body shaming people because i think you know you should just be who you are i mean even if you're on the healthier side you're not on the healthier side it's fine i mean you are the way you are I and mean, all i'll say is just eat healthy um eat well If you need, if need be, work out. If you have to work out, work out. Or if you're proud the way you are, be proud of who you are, the way you are. So stop body shaming. Stop telling people, oh my God, you put on weight or you lost weight, um, or you're looking like you know you're looking fat. Why do you want to do that? I mean, just just be who you are. Yeah. I mean, if you have anything positive to say, say it. Though, so if you have any negative to say, keep it to yourself. You no, know? because there might be some people who like you for who you are. If you don't like. somebody might like me some see one two people may not like me fine that is your own opinion about it i'm not saying no but there are 10 other people who like me so why do you want to change their opinion saying no 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 you know what this girl is like this she's like this so stop me just don't like her why i mean just let it be and uh, about the color also yes um, there was a, a particular picture of mine which came out on social media which i had put on my instagram and somebody said oh you're like this black but your face is white i said listen it could also be because of the shadow of the dress and what is your problem i mean if the, the person wants to highlight it could be like the designers thing where they want to highlight the dress they want to highlight the jewelry or they want to highlight whatever yeah just let it be you know what what is your problem i mean why do you want to stop you know calling people black or calling people white why do you want to do that just live and let live i mean what why do you what is that one minute fame you get by trying to body shame somebody or trying to you know talk about their uh, you know their skin color what is wrong i mean i think being um, uh, weetish is beautiful being dark is beautiful uh, being fair is also nice i mean the way you are whatever skin type you are just be the way you are yeah just be nice you know i mean after that i did get a lot of messages from people saying um uh, oh you know thank you so much for coming out and talking about uh, you know skin color and things like that and i also did mention that say i said see shri krishna is black and somebody said how can you call shri krishna black shri krishna is blue I said, "Yeah, no, okay. Listen, I'm not going to get into it because if I do, then it will become an Ashley. It will become a, another topic of discussion." I said, "Let it be. I mean, some of us know as Sri Krishna is black. Some of us know Sri Krishna is blue. So, and somebody also spoke for me, saying 
Sri Krishna being blue is what we see. It's what he's being depicted either on comic books or on television or on something. So how does it matter if Sri Krishna is black, Sri Krishna is blue? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter who you are, where you are. Just be comfortable in who you are. Be comfortable in your own skin. Stop body shaming people. Stop calling people black, blue, white, whatever. Just let them be. I think black is beautiful. My parents, my dad is on the darker side. He's beautiful. My brother is on the darker side. He's beautiful. I'm not saying that people are not. I mean, just just let them be. You know, why do you want to comment and you know make their lives? You never know because I always tell people whenever they sort of comment or whenever they say anything, I and mean, they just watch your words because you never know. Somebody might take it in a positive way. They might just brush it off, but you never know how the others might take it. They might not take it well. They might, you know, you never know the after effects how it will affect the other people. So just live and let live. Just be happy. That's it. Akela hi kafi hai. When I say these words, which character you've played comes to mind and why? Uh, Akela hi kafi hai. I think all the characters that I have played so far, uh, because I would say that um, all the characters that I've played, be it right from Bharti Rajasa's film to right now what I did uh, or what I'm doing, I think all the characters that I've played are very bold. They're very brave. They uh, don't. They're not afraid to talk their point, you know, to state their point. So I think all the characters that I've played and just, if I may say this, that I just shot an ad yesterday with Gajraj Rao sir and the tagline was Akela hi kafi hai. Okay. Um, as an actor, what are the challenges you face, uh, you know, in an industry which is so evolving, you know, you, you've straddled uh, TV, you've done uh, multimedia, all multimedia, you're on the OTT platforms, yeah. movies in four languages. What are the yeah. challenges you face as an actor? I, fortunately, I have not faced any great challenges per se. Um, as I said, see, till now, I have not done any homework, any audition for any film. Um, but if I have to, I will do. I won't say no. Uh, so challenges as such, Probably you can say when I shot for, um, fi- probably for films like Pariti Viran, um, Charulata and uh, Tirakada, like challenges per se, physically, mentally and emotionally, yes, it was a challenge for, because they were really difficult films um, that I had to shoot. So Pariti Viran was a film where we had to shoot in extreme, we shot for like 160 days, we shot in extreme weathers, it was like, either it was really hot or, you know, it was really cloudy and to wait for the same light to come the next day. We had to literally wait. And if the light was not there, we had to We Actually, there were days when we came in the morning at about 6.30, 6 or 6.30, we had breakfast. And uh, if the director was not happy with uh, the location or he was not, we, we used to wait for the exact light to come so that we could finish the scene. If that was not there, we had just packed up. Uh, you know, if the director would just say pack up and we used to go back to the hotel. So... Uh, there were days like that when we just came, ate breakfast and at 8 o'clock in the morning, the director says, no, I'm not happy and pack up. So there have been days like that which has happened during these 160 days. And for Charu Lata, well, physically, um, because I had to play these uh, conjoined twins, which we were conjoined at the hip. We joined at the hip, rather. And uh, so there was this other girl who was there with me and, you know, they, they got in a girl with the same height and, you know, a body type as me. So if I had to do one character, she would she would do the other character and then I had to go change into the other character. Then she would come as the other one and then we had to redo the whole scene like that. So that was and not only for me, even for the entire unit, for the junior artist. So we had to do the action twice. And then for a movie like Tirakada, um, I, the, the, especially the part where, you know, she has cancer. So that cancer look took about three hours, three and a half hours to get that look done. And after that, you know, physically, the way she walks and um, things. So all that, well, that sort of a challenge was there. But acting wise, I can say that I think I'm pretty fortunate that I'm a pretty spot on actor. So it's like switch on and switch off for me. So I don't probably, I will not carry it back with me or I will not, um, you know, be in that character when I'm shooting for the film throughout. No, it's just when the uh, director says uh, start camera action and he says that I'm the character. Um, so that way, you know, I've not faced um, many, many challenges per se like that. But yes, as I said, these three films were physically, mentally and emotionally quite challenging for us. Thank you for talking to me. It was wonderful hey, you talking you. to someone as gifted as you. Thank you, Jitesh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.
Bye. Thank you.